Hey, I'm CJ. And I'm Den. And this is Not Not Past Past It. It. In this episode, we are going to be discussing the issue of sexual harassment at our school to bring light to such situations. In many circumstances, people feel uncomfortable reaching out or don't feel like they can. And we're not going to move past it till we can bring awareness to people who are being affected. Recently, we did an anonymous poll where we asked the students if they or someone they know are experiencing sexual harassment from students at LUHS. These illustrate 42% of people saying yes out of 88 people who responded. To shed further light on the results of this survey and the LUHS policy, we invited the Dean of Students, Ty Peterson. Hello. Good morning, ladies. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come in and talk to you. Okay. We'll go right into it. Great. What is the district's policy on sexual harassment? So Lakeland High School has a very... um, Uh, laid out sexual harassment policy. Sexual harassment deserves special mention, so the school board um, not only defines it, they actually give examples. So sexual harassment may include, but not limited to, they give six different examples. Sexual harassment examples, again, uh, that are, uh, can be listed, there's there's eight different examples. And all of these are in uh, Lakeland policy, which is open to the public, it's online, it can be viewed by kids. Um, You can find links through your student handbook, um, as well on the district um, policy itself on sexual harassment. And how many cases have you dealt with in the past year? To the best of my knowledge, we have zero Title IX investigations. And and a Title IX is the individuals that investigate sexual harassment. So we have two uh, Title IX individuals here at the high school. We have Principal Chad Garkey, and then we have the director of our pupil services, uh, Rebecca Jablonski. So if a student felt that they were a victim of sexual harassment, they could come to anyone in the building, uh, a staff member, another teacher, whoever they trust, um, and then, or they could come to Mr. Garkey or Ms. Jablonski, and they would start with called a Title IX investigation. And that's, again, the the two individuals that actually run uh, the investigation over the sexual harassment policy. But to answer your question again, we've had no Title IX investigations this year. Okay. Uh, Do you think sexual harassment is a significant issue in our school? So the, that's, a, that's a great question. And I always come back to the fact that, okay, we have no Title IX investigations. So it would be uh, naive to think that we have no uh, individuals that are victim of sexual harassment. You can't say just because it's not being reported doesn't mean that it's not happening. Uh, so I think uh, CJ had done a poll not too long ago where she got 88 responses uh, back uh, on her poll. 42% of those individuals stated yes, they have been involved or subject to some sort of sexual harassment. 38% said no, they, they have not. So that tells me as an administrator that there's 42% of these 88 students were felt that they had some involvement in this, but yet didn't come forward um, and, and say, hey, I need help. So that's something that the administration needs to work better on, on how we can let those students feel more comfortable in doing so. And what has the school done to prevent sexual harassment? So our biggest tool or asset is to build um, community and connections in the school. So T-Bird 20 gives an opportunity for our students to connect with our staff members. And all of our staff are working really hard to make students feel safe, make them feel comfortable. Like As an administrator, if you're not comfortable enough to talk to me about uh, something simple in the lunch line, how could you ever come forward and talk to me about something um, as sensitive as sexual harassment? So we need to build those connections with kids. We have to let them know that they can come forward um, either anonymous, anonymously or, or right in person and say, hey, this is happening. Can you help? One of the other tools that we use is the Stop It app. Stop It app can be installed on any of our phones. Uh, it can be on your laptop. Uh, it's a, uh, an anonymous reporting app that a student just goes in, opens the app, fills out the information. It immediately comes to my cell phone. It immediately comes to my uh, laptop, and they can uh, tell us exactly what had happened, and now we can actually start an investigation. Do you think that the dress code is mainly targeted at females? Another great question. So the Lakeland High School dress code doesn't target any gender, but I want to give you some examples of of what that looks like. So when you think of a regular school day, there's a lot of uh, boys or men that wear ball caps in the building, and I'm constantly telling them, take off your ball cap, take off your ball cap, take off your ball cap. Those men or boys could come back and say, you know what, you're just targeting men um, because you don't harass any of the girls for wearing ball caps. And I come back and say, well, predominantly there's more boys or men in this building that wear ball caps than girls. When I go back and look at some of the female fashions, one of the biggest female fashions that we have a problem with are belly shirts. Some of the belly shirts um, show almost all of their stomach, almost all of their back, and that is a dress code violation. So when we say, hey, you need to um, put a a jacket on or you need to try to cover uh, your midriff up, they could say, I think you're just targeting all the girls in the building. So it doesn't target male or female. A dress code is a 
the dress code regardless of how uh, you look at it. But the policy is very clear on what our dress code is. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Well. Have a great day, ladies. Thank you. you. Hello, and welcome to Not Past It. What's your name? River Baker. Do you think sexual harassment is a significant issue at our school? Um, I'd argue that sexual harassment is definitely an issue at our school and one that isn't talked about enough. Uh, I say that because I've experienced it and so have people I know personally um, w within the school and outside of the school. Um, but I, like, like I said, I don't think it's talked about enough because it's not something you know most people feel comfortable talking about. I certainly didn't feel comfortable talking about it. And I think that in itself is a bit of an issue kind of caused by a lack of vulnerability and a lack of proper education on the topic. Um, yeah. Have you or someone close to you ever experienced a form of sexual harassment in the school? Um, so I know multiple people within the school who've experienced forms of sexual harassment. My personal experience comes um, at a less extreme extent um, from me being pressured and whatnot. Uh, my freshman year, um, I had a person once pressure me into doing something, attempting to pressure me into doing something I didn't want to do, even though I repeatedly said no. Um, then said person grabbed me by the waist, um, and it didn't escalate much from there. Uh, so, I, like, fortunately. Um, and similarly, my sophomore year, something similar happened with someone tr attempting to pressure me. Um, but both incidents didn't result in anything super extreme, and I know um, I was fortunate in that case, and a lot of people have experienced much worse. Um, you know, so I can't speak for those people, but I can speak from the experiences that I had and what others close to me have told me. Have you ever reported your case to school administration? Um, and if you have, did they do anything about it? I never reported anything, um, despite being considerably uncomfortable, because I didn't really think that my situation would be taken seriously, especially knowing like who the person was and who I am. And I also, you know, I was under the impression that it was kind of irrelevant when I experienced. Um, I do recognize now that I think it should have been discussed and it was something I should have brought up and that's definitely on me. Um, but you know, like I was a freshman and I was a kid and I was scared to do so. Um, but I think that the fact that I even felt insignificant and like it wasn't important was is an issue, you know, and I don't think anyone should ever feel that way, especially as a freshman because that's when it, it happens the most because you're kind of the most vulnerable. Um, so. Honestly, I wish I had said something, and I, I, I don't know, I, I think that everyone, regardless of how extreme it was or wasn't, deserves to be recognized and to have that conversation. What has the school done to prevent sexual harassment? Um, personally, I think the most Lakeland has done is played, um, like in my experience, um, being in like a health class and whatnot, the most I think that's really happened is playing a short video about consent um, and using fear tactics to try and stop people from having sex but um we talk like we talk a lot about stds and sdis you know and how to have safe sex um you know if you're a conventionally you know straight person um but we don't really create an environment where someone can talk about what is going on and like can get help actual help because we don't feel comfortable talking about it you know and it's not a comfortable conversation to have um I mean, there is, you know, I've seen the occasional poster or whatever in the hallway, like, you know, text this anonymous number or whatever if you need help. And I understand that in some cases that can be really beneficial and the best option for most people, um, especially, you know, being anonymous. But I don't think a lot of people will use that because I don't think they, you know, really believe they're going to get help. And the person they're going to really ask is someone they know and someone they can trust and someone they know will be there for them. And I think in a way that's a little bit of a responsibility for teachers and I know that there's a lot they're doing and a lot going on but in a school it's like their responsibility to create that safe environment because a lot of kids aren't getting in at home um, and that's just a power that they have and a power they can use you know if they're willing to um, but yeah if someone's in a dangerous situation um, especially if they're in a neglectful, neglectful household the teachers like the best resource that they have how do you feel about the dress code and do you think it helps prevent sexual harassment? My personal opinion is that the dress code doesn't really have anything to do with sexual harassment. 
Uh, I think that placing, saying, I think that no matter what you're wearing, like that's not really going to affect what someone chooses to do, but also that mindset of, you know, this is going to prevent this is putting the responsibility on the person or the victim. Um, so you're saying, in a sense, like if they wore this, that's why that happened, I guess. Like that's how I view that kind of um, argument. So, and I don't think it's ever the fault or the responsibility of the victim. So I definitely don't think that the dress code really has anything to do with preventing it. Thank you so much for your time. Your voice and input are very important to us. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to Not Past It. What's your name? Hi, I'm Troy Rice. Do you think sexual harassment is a significant issue at our school? Um, yeah, I would definitely say so. I actually, I personally feel like it's definitely more of a problem at our school than a lot of other area schools, just because of the culture surrounding Lakeland. And it's just, it's a lot, unfortunately, it's a lot more acceptable here for sexual harassment to happen and to, for like, no one to report it or nothing to come of it. Have you or has someone close to you ever experienced a form of sexual harassment in the school? Um, not me personally, but I do have a few friends that have, actually relatively recently. Have you ever reported the case to school administration? If yes, have they done anything about it? Um, no, well, I, I haven't been sexually harassed here, so I haven't reported anything but and I just and obviously I wouldn't for other people because it's just not my place but um yeah no it hasn't been reported what do you think the school has done to prevent sexual harassment um nothing <laughs> the school definitely focuses on a lot of other in many in many's opinion less significant things than I would say sexual harassment which is a very big issue at our school and but no one wants to acknowledge and no one wants to acknowledge it and I don't I, I don't want to like when people think of sexual harassment it's like immediately like like inappropriate comments or gestures but like it that's not it doesn't have to be like that like just like a just like a simple like inappropriate comment about like what like a about like what like a female or like even like some males in our school are wearing like that can be considered sexual harassment. How do you feel about the dress code and do you think it helps prevent sexual harassment? Um, I, <laughs> I do not agree with the dress code whatsoever. And in fact, I feel like it makes sexual harassment at Lakeland even worse. Just because, um, I don't know, I think it just, I re it really supports like a type of rape culture that is just, that is just telling women that that especially like the older men in our school like teachers or administration can dictate what they wear and how they can identify themselves with, with what they wear um it's i just I, I don't think that people realize like how important clothing is to a person's identity but it's like like a lot of people identify themselves with what they wear and it's just like if that's what they want to wear then that it should be allowed i mean obviously like there are some exceptions for <clears throat> things that are obviously inappropriate and should not be allowed at school but like when i see like a girl at our school like wearing a skirt that an older teacher an older male teacher at our school feels the need to reprimand her for that like I personally feel like that's a little creepy <laughs> but that's just my opinion but it's also wrong thank you so much for your time your input and voice is extremely important to us thank you